and welcome back to Simple Things Done Right. Today, um, I've thought long and hard about what to discuss in this Chit Chat Tuesday, but what I've decided on is discussing black currants. Yeah, black currants. Oh, God, this game I'm absolutely dreadful at, and I'm not dreadful at all games that I play, but this, I even practised on this the other day, and I still can't get it down. But yeah, black currants. Now, some of you may be thinking either what's so special about black currants and amazingly some of you may be saying what are they now i didn't know this until recently but black currants were and in some states still are banned in the united states of america now as far as i can gather the reason that this ban came into effect is that um some strains are believed to carry a disease a disease that actually threatened at one time to annihilate all pine trees um obviously this was like having a really detrimental effect on the logging industry and as apparently according to an article i read pine trees are a large part of the logging industry in america then they had to they had to get rid of them and they were banned um as i believe that some states now don't have them banned i think some include um, New York, Oregon, Connecticut and Vermont, yet surprisingly the majority of Americans can now only enjoy processed or dried versions of the berries, which you know isn't a bad thing because there's many health benefits of eating dry fruits, but it's absolutely crazy to think to me that a lot of Americans have never tasted or strangely never heard of black currants when it's like it's a staple fruit around here and throughout the rest of Europe, I believe. It's just it just baffles me completely. Um, they're like one of the best natural sources of vitamin C that you can get, and it actually saved like thousands of lives in Britain during World War Two, because it was like so difficult. Hold on, it was difficult. Well, almost impossible to transport fruits. Um, to the island so oh god i failed again so currants were the only source of um this essential nutrient vitamin c and basically you just go around picking them off trees i'm sure like i remember many times as a child and you shouldn't do it like kids don't go around picking berries off trees it's dangerous you don't know what you're putting in your mouth but when you were younger it didn't really matter to you but yeah it does matter don't do it (laughs) So yeah, um, nowadays Americans, they're starting to rediscover the black currant. And yeah, I mean, they're they're really far way off having it as like a staple food item. But as I said before, it absolutely baffled me. I only found this out like a few days ago and actually asked, well, Harry asked our good friend who is from America, like, have you heard of? Or I think he said, have you tried black currants before? Um, and he was like, I just had to Google it. I didn't know what they were. It's like, totally baffles me. The reason that um, some states have started reversing that federal ban is because it's actually been proven to be minimal and minimally effective in... So if you just heard my dog whining there, he's trying to get through to Harry, who's filming a video in the other room. Um, whoa, cleared level two, finally. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's deemed minimally effective in... Let's see if I can do this. In the disease prevention. Uh, and it's mainly because, like, different strains of... I don't know how to pr- pronounce the word, but basically... Um, Hang on. Yeah, I've got it. All of the Ribes genus, I'm not good with plants, all of them plants carry the fungus, the disease that they are claiming that um, is dangerous to pine trees, which I can totally understand um, them banning them because it's an industry. Logging industry is huge and they, they wouldn't want to risk that. But yeah, loads of other things, including gooseberries and other varieties of the species, already contain this fungus and 
I guess eliminating the black currants themselves was a good factor at the time. Like maybe they were the, the most prominent fruits that you'd find. And Sorry I went quiet there, I was totally concentrating on getting through that level. That's actually really bad. So yeah, to clear it up, because I don't think my terminology has been correct throughout this video, it's actually um, a disease that is, you know, derived from local grown backcurrents, and it's actually called white pine blister dust. Now, I know I was using disease and fungus interchangeably, but yeah, that disease is caused by a type of fungus. I can't pronounce that. It's something like Cronartium rubicola, which to me, that rubicola actually is quite hilarious because a well-known drink, especially for us as kids, and I'm sure it's still around today. In fact, I know it is, um, was Ribena, a super, super, super sweet um, black currant flavoured drink you could get it in other flavours strawberry etc but yeah I believe it started off as black currant so yeah that's my little speech on black currants and how I'm baffled by um, Americans not knowing what it is so anybody down below um, if you're from England Europe etc and you know black currants you know Ribena maybe um, comment down below to say whether you knew this fact about America or not and any of you Americans, comment down below whether all of this is true or whether it's a massive myth. But from what I've seen, it's actually all true. So do you know what black currants are? So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Leave a like if you liked it, please. Comment down below all the things that I've said before or anything else that you want to comment. And yeah, hit the subscribe button if you've not hit the subscribe button. So yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, keep it simple. Thank you.